Hello everyone. Taking a look at a Raspberry Pi 4 image for building a multi-cade, uh, CoinOps Pi 4 Legends 2 version 2.0. If you have an arcade one-up cab that you've modded with a Raspberry Pi or you're building a custom multi-cade, this might be a, a good image to look at. Uh, really been impressed with this one so far. Got a pretty quick startup, nice collection of games, 471 um, arcade games, and also a, a handful of console games. I don't normally like to put consoles on my multi-cades, um, but this has a, a very hand-picked selection uh, of games. Let me get rid of the camera real quick. There we go, so you can see the whole screen. Um, this is the default theme and has really nice bezel art. Um, they did a pretty fantastic job. Um, I actually prefer the marquee theme. Uh, the marquee theme shows the cabinets as well, and they have some really nice custom cabinets, and I, I like seeing the marquees. I just think this theme looks really, really nice. Um, but, you know, everybody's got their own preference. Uh, let's take a look at a... Here's one of those uh, console games. So they, they even built custom uh, custom cabinets, custom bezels, custom marquees, the whole nine yards. So it, it really, really looks nice. Um, and, I, and I'll say the ones that I've seen so far, the console games, will play really well as, you know, uh, an arcade game, like on an arcade cabinet. Um, I don't like playing games that, you know, there's just some games are just far better. They're just better built for playing on a couch, you know, with a controller uh, than standing in an arcade machine. Uh, this does run MAME, so let's say if, you, if you're in a game and uh, say when you have it hooked up to your cabinet, depending on what your con control scheme is, uh, you know, what controllers you have hooked up to your cabinet. If you need to remap anything, uh, you can remap your controllers, uh, either per game or or, or globally. Uh, per game is usually really helpful for things like Robotron. You know, if you have a two joystick setup uh, and you want to remap that um, for your twin stick shooters like Smash TV and Robotron, things like that, uh, then you can do that. So that's really nice. Uh, it also, it has a selection of um, trackball games like Centipede and Millipede. Tempest is on here. For those games, um, it does support a mouse. Uh, so if you have a trackball hooked up in your cabinet, uh, those are usually just detected as a normal mouse. Uh, so it'll, it'll pick that up just fine. So that's all working right out of the box. Um, Missile Command's on here. Tempest is on here. Uh, I played around with that. Uh, works great with a spinner. So, pretty good collection of games. It's got a good uh, set of four-player uh, games with, like, uh, Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, Tower of Doom is on here. And a few other notable titles. I mean, it's got some, got some really good... Really good collection on here. Uh, good good set of classics. It's got Doom on here. I thought this one was really interesting. Uh, built a really cool cabinet. I don't think I've ever seen Doom in one of these collections. Um, and it looks like they, they pulled it off uh, really well. Yeah, you got Shadows Over Mistara and Tower of Doom. Two of my favorite games, so I always like to look for those. Um, but yeah, so it's got, it's got some four-player games. Uh, one that I noticed was not four player is uh, Simpsons. Uh, it has the Simpsons game and it looks like the four player cab uh, here, but when you play it, it's actually the two player version, which for a lot of people is actually better. Uh, if you have a two player cab, then that allows you to, you know, select which player you want when you're when you're playing the game. Some really, really good custom bezels. 
So you can pick pick your character, you know, for each player. So yeah. So anyway, uh, that's just a really quick look at uh, CoinOps Pi 4 Legends 2 version 2. Again, this is an image for the Raspberry Pi 4, uh, and you can install this on a 32 gig uh, micro SD card. And yeah, if you can get your hands on a Raspberry Pi 4, I know they're hard to get these days, but if you have one and you're looking to do a multi-cade, I think this is a really, really slick image.